our sense of community when you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. Hello, everyone. Well, I'm so pleased to welcome back to the show for another visit, uh, Mayor of Chilliwack, Mr. Ken Popoff. Welcome back, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Nancy. I thought I wasn't on the A-list anymore because I hadn't heard from you in such a long time, but uh, I'm sure you're busy doing your show and I'm busy as well, but it's glad to be back. I'm glad you're back. But listen, to scold you, last time you were on, you said that same thing. And I said, well, why is it always up to me? You have a secretary. I don't, you know. So there you go. <laughs> bingo, bingo. I stand corrected. <laughs> so um, I, w I was hoping to see you sooner than this because I wanted to talk about um, how it must feel good to get re-elected as the mayor. Yeah, certainly. It, it uh, um, you know, there's a lot of talk out there with, with the low voter turnout, which which was lower than last time for sure by by about eight percent, I believe was the number. But you know, the way I look at it is 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 people were happy with what um, we've done and we as our team has done, and and uh, and um, again, it shows that that. Uh, um, the trust is there because they brought everybody else back as well. So we just um, added one keener, as I call her, um, Nicole Reed. She's uh, doing a great job, and and uh, uh, I feel Chillbox in good hands. Uh, it's nice, I would think, to have a, a good cohesive team, right? One hundred percent. And and you know, my first term, it uh, um, you know, I was in uncharted waters, if you will, you know, on council for a couple of terms. So. So it's a little bit of a different. Uh, uh, um, I'm not going to call it a game, but it's a it's a different challenge to 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 take the mayor's seat and and uh, work with your fellow councilors, which I've done and we've we have done a lot of things. And you know we still agree to disagree, but then we'll go for a beer later. And that's the way it should be. Uh, we should all ha have our input. You know your, uh, you know, the councilors have their constituents that that are voicing their opinion on xyz and it comes to the table and we and we hash it out the pros and the cons and and what's best for the you know the whole population taking it from three thousand feet up and and we make our decision and away we go but um uh, and getting the team back uh i couldn't have asked for a better result to happen and and uh because we all work very well together uh um there's other um organizations I know are you know are struggling with with uh, uh you know folks with different ideas and and this sort of thing but uh city hall is is a well-run machine yeah it's important too I think sometimes people forget that they're working for a bigger purpose rather than coming in with their own agendas right exactly it's all about teamwork yeah. and that's you know if if you have an issue that you want to uh, put on the table, um, then you got to do some lobbying with, you know, with the rest of the counselors and, and make your point and, and um, you bring it to a vote and, and, and away we go. So either it, it goes or it doesn't. So, so no, um, my job is, is relatively easy. Uh, sure. I have my days where I'm, I'm dealing with cranky people, but that's, that's okay. That's all part of my job. So, um, but you know, Chilliwack's in, in good hands. We've, we've in the past four years, we've grown exponentially population wise, but also on the commercial sector wise as well with the work that's being done downtown, which looks spectacular. We have a, a downtown, a vibrant downtown and, the, and we're only into phase two. On the south side, with uh, um, the deconstruction of the um, you know Chilliwack Mall and uh, the reconstruction of how they've rebuilt that, there's going to be some towers in behind there and and across the road with uh, you know the Canadian Tire Building coming in and and uh, which is the largest in Western Canada and another little little company as well. Uh, um, I'm sure you've heard of them or maybe not. They're called Red Bull. Um, they've uh, are going to be setting up. I, I'm just being trying to be funny there, but uh, oh, okay. it, you know, you know, it's a hundred employees. It's a you know, it's a big operations with uh, them and Molson's. Um, something's being done right here in Chilliwack, obviously. So from top down, we're in great shape. 
I, I, yeah, I would think it can't be easy with so many things happening and it building so rapidly. It must take a lot of work that to try to figure out what's best for the city. We got great staff. Our staff in the planning department, the engineering department, they are top notch and, and uh, um, you know, I applaud them. Uh, they have a lot of constraints. Uh, uh, more so than us as council. Yeah, we, we are the front line. So like if we're, you know, in a grocery store and and somebody spots you and, and they got a question or an issue, um, that's where we come into play. And this is what we signed up for, to to hear the people of Chilliwack and hear the concerns. And, and every once in a while, we'll get a pat on the back too, which is kind of nice. But, uh, you know, um, it is what it is. I didn't come into this job to, you know, to bolster my ego it's it's you know i love my city and and the direction that it's going and and sure we got our social issues just like any other community does but um i'm i'm proud of what we done have done and are going to do in the future right very good yeah yeah one of the things i was thinking about is like today like there's people working outside our my building on the street here in spread on spread Mm -hmm. Despite the weather, um, but it looks like they're installing, going to be installing uh, lights on this side, my side of the street, which there yep. had been before. Who makes those type of decisions? We do. We do. It's all through the budget system. And and uh, um, we physically, and I was a part of it, okay. did a walk around in downtown and, 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 and picked out areas that that were underlit. And and we've gone down this road. Uh, um, we're, we've just approved in the budget to uh, uh, on the south side to now uh, change all the lights to LED, right. so that you know that saves energy. It's it's good for the planet. Uh, they last longer. They're cheaper to run. All that sort of stuff. So so we're continually uh, incrementally making changes. You know um, those crosswalk flashers. They 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 do have a technical name to them, but those things are are like forty grand a piece, but are they ever effective? Yeah. And, you know, I kind of joke around with folks, you know, because if you, if you can't see those, you probably shouldn't be driving. <laughs> you know, um, I get a lot of uh, uh, um, comments about those and how people love them. And and then they send a list of, okay, have you thought about this intersection and this intersection? And we are going to continue down that path. And, 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 um, I, I'd, I'd like folks' input as well. If there's an intersection that you feel could uh, uh, be be a good, you know, proponent of the strategy, mm-hmm. you know, shoot me an, you know, like an email, meritchillwalk.com, and I'll get it to operations. And, and, and it may be on a list already, or it could be added to the list, and we will continue that program. Right, yeah. One of the things you mentioned is, like, like occasionally getting uh, a pat on the back. And I just want to tell the viewers, like, uh, we shouldn't only just complain about things. When something's done, that's <laughs> we should let City Hall know. Thank you. That's why I like talking to you, Nancy, because you're you're full of common sense. But that's you know that's just the nature of the job. You know, uh, you, you know when I took this role, um, I think my biggest aha moment was people's expectations of my power or our power. Um, you know the We've got, you know, I, I was talking to a gentleman here a few days ago about, you know, some roads in Yarrow. Well, we got over 600 kilometers of roads that we have to look after uh, and the drainage and the and the developments, you, you know, um, you know, the cuts in the roads to attach to sewer and water lines. There's. Yeah, yeah we we do get the odd you're doing a good job, um, but like, again, I, I, I didn't take this on to to boost up my ego. I got a big fat head as it is, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm going to get you a big pair of those glasses or sunglasses. <laughs> there you go. You do that. Well, I have a pair. I'm hoping that I, I figure I'm going to eventually get a big ego and I'll, I'll grow into them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But again, you know, people, they, they need to realize that. I mean, I understand you're not there for that reason to get all these pats in the back, but it's still, it's only fair you know, um, yeah. like if you go into the supermarket and you see something nice and new and it's like, just talk to even just one of the employees. Wow, this looks so great. Mm-hmm. Instead of complaining, mm-hmm. oh, the lineup's so long. Why do I, you know, <laughs> it's just like, come on, people, stop. Well, yeah. And, and you know, I get, you know, like if I'm on a, or in a grocery store and I'll never forget this, 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 uh, 
little senior lady come up you know it takes me a half an hour to get from the north side to the south side yeah it probably does so you know chalk's got a rush hours now it's it's you know we we're one of the fastest growing communities in western canada and and why because it's a cool place to live you know um we keep our taxes low. We keep moving along with development. We we do where we can increase our infrastructure. Uh, we we are landlocked with uh, with with the ALR, but uh, um, we go down that road. Like for instance, Watson Road. We're 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 slowly buying up you know strips of property so we can redo that stretch of road with proper sidewalks and bicycle lanes and that sort of thing. So we're 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 inching along where we can and and. Uh, um, you know, people ha have to understand is we we have a budget, and we try to keep to the budget. So we we go by what's called a, a CMP. That's a Comprehensive Municipal Plan. So we don't go into debt. We we save our money for big expenditures like our new city hall that's getting built. Uh, uh, you know, roadworks and that sort of thing. And and once we got the money, then we go ahead with the project. And and we take it by priority. Um, is there a school in the area? Is there a long-term care in the area? Uh, you know, as far as sidewalks and bike lanes and that sort of thing. So, um, you know, a city is a business and, and, and we provide a service and, uh, you know, we have over 300 employees between admin and operations. And, and uh, um, I think we do a hell of a good job. I'm yeah, going to give I myself a pat on the back. Um, <laughs> um, there you go. Yeah. Uh, I'm proud. Sorry, go ahead. I'm proud of where I live and and I'm proud to do my job. Right, yeah. So anything new coming up that we have that you haven't mentioned? Uh well, this year's budget was a little bit of a tough one with the with, with the RCMP ratifying their agreement and um we were saving money for that but they actually backdated it further than we 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 expected. So we we this was a tough budget year for us. Uh, um Next year will we'll be better because that that uh, uh, um, budget line item, which RCMP will, will be gone, it'll be paid for. Um, uh, out of the four point four eight percent that we've we have increased it, two point one percent of that was RCMP. So almost half the budget went to that. Mm -hmm. So we are going to continue on with our infrastructure projects, our road road rehab projects. Uh, um, uh, Next year, we'll be able to look at the more of a bigger picture. Mm -hmm. um, nothing really big that's that's on the table. Um, you know, folks do have, you know, some wants and wishes. You know, we, we do need another Townsend Park sort of facility on the south side. That's, you know, with baseball and soccer. Um, just land is an issue. You know, th there's no 30 acres of land. That's not an ALR that we can develop. So we will continue on that path and, and, you know, partner up with our first nations neighbors and, and, and see if we can work together on, on projects, uh, uh, a project that I'm proud of. We, we partnered up for instance, with the uh, Chacton band under, under uh, um, chief Epps leadership that, that, uh, that, pathway from Promontory Road to Bailey Road, which will which will add sidewalks, it'll add bike lanes, it'll add some lighting. Uh, and that was a, a, you know, like a partnership. They got some money, we put in some money and, and you know, because we couldn't do that because we don't own the land. Yeah. So if they're going to partner up with us and well, if you, you know, want to build a, 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 you know, secure pathway for, you know, pedestrians and bikes and that sort of thing, then we'll partner up. We'll give you the land and, and there is a split in the, in the cost. And, and those kind of partnerships, I, I, I truly love because it's a, uh, it's working together. And, and, and that's, you know, I, I know it sounds corny, but we do things better together. And, and, uh, um, you know, there's nine, nine bands that touch our borders and, and uh, um, I feel we got a pretty good relationship with all of them. Um, could it be better? Could it always be better. So we will keep on going with that path. I like that. Yeah. Um, I, one suggestion as a senior who's uh, moving into a, using a what I call my pimp mobile, which is a mobility yeah. scooter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we need lanes. <laughs> I see people. Uh, there's no rules. So I pe see that people are riding on the sidewalk, somewhere on the streets. And it's like mm, somewhere yeah. that's yeah. going to be fixed, you know? Yeah. That is challenging. Um, 
I guess sidewalks, you, you don't go on sidewalks? You stay I'm, off the, because of all the... on the sidewalk, but I always be very careful. If I'm behind somebody, I just wait. My, slow down. It's no big deal. I'm never in that yeah. rush. You know, I think yeah. it's a little safer than being on the road because I can't keep up with the vehicles. Yeah. Right? And in, in the downtown core, there's no bike lanes because there's yeah. no 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 room to take bike lanes. And if we took out, you know, parking to create bike lanes, <laughs> I'd have folks here with pitchforks and <laughs> wanting to burn burn city hall down so you know it's a safety thing it's it's a common sense thing i know my dad before he passed he uh had a scooter as well because he had a stroke so he, his he had mobility challenges and and um yeah he had some challenges as well and and uh um i just ask people to just respect the little scooters that are out there and and uh um they have as as much right as you know you, you do in a car, but, uh, you know, just always remember safety first. So, um, exactly. but you know, that's a good point, Nancy, I'll talk to my transportation advisory committee chair and, and, I uh, see if there's ever been a, a conversation because that, uh, part of our population is, is the fastest growing and, yeah. and, and, uh, um, you'll see more and more of those type of vehicles on the streets and, and, uh, um, uh, thought should be given into that not only the cyclist but the the uh you know i, I know you aren't uh, uh um you, you know you you don't have mobility issues but maybe you know for a long road to save on foods or what have you uh, uh it's needed for you to get there and back to hire groceries back later i get that so i will put that to our committee and just see if they've you know thought about it if you know like if there's ways of you know, like at least adding some signage onto some of the, you know, streets for people to just uh, pay attention. Yeah, that. exactly. And it's and determine where we should be riding, you know. Um, like in my building, you know, I live in a very small building, right? Only 24 yeah. units. And there's at least seven mobility scooters here, uh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it makes a big difference. Anyway, um, but uh, we're just about out of time. But I just yeah. one final thing. And, and yeah. uh, your secretary always already has this information. I expect to see you at my 75th birthday party in May. <laughs> yeah. And your wife have been invited. So there you go. <laughs> I, I think it's in my calendar. But, uh, you know, maybe a month prior or something. Just, uh, yeah, shoot, yeah. you know, shoot me a reminder. And, yeah, absolutely. I'll come in. And, and nobody's yeah. allowed in if they're bringing gifts. That's, that, that's a no-no. I don't need stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, okay. Okay. Well, well I'll, I'll have to send you a gift back then. That's fine. If, you know, <laughs> all you good. Go. Give it to somebody else who needs it. <laughs> all right. Anyway, thanks again, Mr. Mayor. I really appreciate you uh, coming back on the show. Thanks. My pleasure. And, and don't be a stranger. Let's talk more. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Nancy. So okay. Bye See for now. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Mayor. A sense of community. Till the wax a place to be, a sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Till the wax a place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark, chill a wax a place to be, you'll see.